Hey ladies and gentlemen, in this video I am going to show you how you can engrave a image file, uh, also called a BMP file or you know just a standard uh, bitmap onto a rotary um, whatever, a part, cup, mug, whatever. So this is a enamel cup and I, I thought it was impossible to engrave a bitmap, not a not a vector file, but a bitmap onto a rotary device. But it is possible, and I am going to show you how. So, your customer sends you a picture and wants it on a, a rotary something. Now, how do you do that? So, first of all, you import your photo, and then this is the settings you need to have so ignore these and let's check uh, what these settings are so this is the settings that I use uh, I use this contrast just to get rid of the the black background you know this is going to be different for every image but the purpose of this of this video is not to show you how to get a good engraving it's just to show you how to do it because every image is going to have different settings so this is the scan mode I use bi-directional scan and PPA must be on otherwise it just doesn't look good but then again this is different for every image and let's see my other settings I also have disable mark low point enabled now an important setting is in the you go to laser then you go to split mark and then parameters and then here is the important settings so access one must be enabled access two disabled and make sure that your ID or reference access is the Y axis and this is going to work well if it is set up like this so the chuck is left of center and the chuck is facing right and so if your setup looks like this and this is your setting that then what you see on screen the engraving let me just go go back a bit what you see here is what's going is exactly how it is going to engrave on your item now there are a few uh, bugs that you just need to take note of so first of all when you go to split mark to the second option from the bottom when you press light it's not actually going to light it's just going to start marking so let me show you how you can get around that so let's turn on the machine and I can show you guys a demo so first of all uh, we don't want the image like this so press ctrl and T on your keyboard and let's just transform this to the correct angle like like this all right the size that looks good so now we go to laser split mark 2 and okay so don't press light because it's just going to start the engraving all the, these settings is fine make sure your split size is is one um all right the power should be one that's important so that we can check the um, where it's it is going to start so press laser split mark to light or mark and now you will see it's going to show you a visual line of where it's going to start but it's not actually it's not actually marking because the power is only on one so quit the process and I'm just going to uh, edit this a little bit so that it's more or less where I want it to be 
like something like over there looks good let's press mark again and that looks good okay so now you can quit this put your power on and then go to split mark light again and then it should be perfect let's see okay so that's white space so it's not going to engrave so the rotary is going to turn just a little bit for every single scanned line because we put the number one next to the Y option over there so after every scanned line it's going to engrave just a little bit now you can hardly see the engraving because I am doing this a little fast at 200 it's supposed to be the speed is supposed to be way lower to get the dark engraving on enamel but uh, you know this is just for educational so the quality of the engraving doesn't really matter so yeah I hope you found this useful it is impossible to engrave a bitmap file on the EasyCAD software and fiber and laser uh, fiber engraver this is my setup this is a normal 30 watt and yeah as you can see it's well perfect so if you have questions comments concerns leave a comment and i will see if i can help thanks